What's up guys, Ian Sandusky from Lakewood Machine and Tool, back here again for Practical Machinist. Once again, we're here live from ESEC, and I have the pleasure right now of being live with Kevin, the president of Gorilla Mill. How are you doing? Thank you very much for having us by. Thank you. So what are we looking at today? We are looking at selling end mills. <laughs> uh, we've got some new product lines that have just been developed and uh, we you know, made it through this pandemic. Did pretty well last year. Aerospace, still a little iffy. But the, uh, the the gun industry has really taken off down here in the U.S. It's making up for it a little bit, yeah, eh? Absolutely. So um, we've developed a new six-fluter, and then we have found that with the six-fluter, a lot of people want the chip breakers, or what we call chimp breakers. Chimp breakers. Chimp breakers. <laughs> I got to stick to the Everything's got to the stay theme. to the gorilla thing, right? <laughs> yes. So we developed the Kong. The Kong came out about uh, I don't know, about three or four months ago. That's this one right That's here. That's this tool here. Actually, all three of these are the Kongs. That's all the same one. And they have our variable uh, pitch, variable index, patented geometries on them. Variable on the tool just keeps everything from vibrating, harmonics, things like that. So when we incorporate that into all of our tooling, we use our patent that we developed back in 2005 and six. So this is all proprietary? All proprietary, yep. It's, and that, that, when you have reduced harmonics, that means better finish, better tool life, less chipping. All of chipping. the above, right. Yeah. The, the tool's cutting freer, so it's going to cut better. And these tools work really well in the high temp alloys. Right. High temp alloys that they're cutting out there now, you know, the super alloys, the Inconels. Inconels huge in the aerospace industry. Right. Um, it's also big downhole for oil and gas. Um, so these tools here were developed specially for those high temp alloys. Really? Thread mills. Also, again, with our proprietary. Um, patent information on them. Now this one here is hard to make variable because it's only one tooth. Right, it's a single point essentially. Right, but this one here, you've got the full-blown uh, variable helix, variable pitch index on that. And again, um, when, you, when you're when you down hole, putting that thread in the, in the hole, uh, that variable, taking all the harmonics out of the tool is the biggest thing. Right. And, and so the tool cuts a whole lot freer. And I do see, is that through spindle cooling? It does have through spindle cooling, yes. Uh, this here is a uh, 3D print of our newest Kong, that, I don't know, something like 36 hours or something like that to, Jeez. to build that thing. But we thought it'd be kind of cool for the show. So. And that does actually highlight and let you see all the all features the that are actually present on the tool. Right. We're now, able to, we're I'm not going to say them, this is not that much smaller than this. So. Yeah, you're going to need kind of a, you're going to need a big collet for that one. Yeah. So. I'm sure you guys can develop one. All right, back to the uh, gun industry. Um, probably one of the largest industries we have in the U.S. right now is the guns. Right. Um, it just so happens that the gun industry can't keep up. And so we've developed the arsenal. And the arsenal is uh, Picatinny uh, attachment cutters, Picatinny rail cutters in both a four and five flute, and then your Picatinny groove cutters because everything's got a Picatinny rail on it. And those are, those are for, to do that profile, you would typically have to use a series of different tools in the past. Now you can right. do it with a, a lot fewer or one tool. That's exactly right. We're trying to get as, as at least amount of uh, um, having to, uh, linear inches. Right. It's all about linear inches and keeping those down. And again, when you build them all variable, I don't care if it's in aluminum or you're doing it in stainless or if you're cutting 4140, those tools are going to cut a whole lot better. And those are all solid carbide. Solid carbide. Everything we make is solid carbide. All solid carbide. Yep. Yep. And it's all round tooling. Our lemur line. Again, staying in the uh, the whole gorilla kind of <laughs> primate kind of deal. Uh, these are um, basically chamfer mills. Right. Um, everybody's got a chamfer a hole, or you know, for a, a flathead screw. Yep. Uh, or they're going to just chamfer something off because it needs a 45 on it or something like that. So uh, while we were in the house at uh, during the pandemic, we couldn't get out. We just started developing lines and getting ready, to, new stuff. getting ready to come back out again. So. And now these are available in pretty much any diameter you could want? Well, uh, these are all half inch and down. Half inch and People down? People don't use them above half inch. No. These here uh, are all half inch and down as well because uh, you really don't need anything bigger for, you know, Picatinny Rail was developed at the Picatinny Arsenal right. who knows how many years ago. And it's it's one specific size, and you can only fit it's it on one. standard. Right. right, it's all standardized. Yeah. Well, what do we got down here? Uh, we got more thread mills. The, the missing, missing link thread link. mills. Yep, yep. <laughs> and then this is our newest four fluter. We developed this off of our our earliest four fluter, the the original Gorilla Mill. But this one here, we've seen this thing fly at about sixty inches a minute in uh, forty one forty. 
full in flute. a full slot. Wow. Then we took it, you can see it on YouTube, on our YouTube channel, we took it to three times deep and blew it through 4140. I think the cubes were somewhere up around 32. Jeez. Um, per minute. So um, that, that Yeti is designed to really get material out of the way fast. It's built for heavy roughing, but it also has a great finish on it too. So. And the, the science behind that again is the angle of the flute. It's got the rounded corners, so you get tool life along Deeper with. Deeper gullet. We've, right. we've got a tapered core in there to keep it a little bit stronger. And it, 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 when we took it, we, we actually kind of freaked ourselves out because we have a VMC at our shop. Right. And so we said, you know, let's just let's bolster the wall and see what happens. And so we, uh, we dropped it in at one times deep. That was easy. And we didn't want any coolant to get in the way of the video. Oh, of course not. So then we just dropped it in at one and a half times deep and it went right through. We went two times deep. When it, and so finally we said, take it all the way to the bottom. So we went three times happen. deep, blew it through there. Big giant nest of flaming red hot chips behind it. But it made it through and, and we did that several times and it just kept going. And uh, the, the video went viral. I was gonna say, uh, I bet it made uh, for some great content. So, yes, yes. Uh, aluminum cutters over here. Uh, we developed our new aluminum silverback. And in 6061, in uh, 7075, 7051, uh, that removes a lot of material very fast. Very, very quickly, I would imagine. Most of the time, we are limited by the, the RPM on the machine. Right. Whatever RPM you're willing to give, we're going to go ahead and probably run it at that RPM. That cutter will outperform whatever the max spec of the machine yeah. is. Yeah. Right. We never ever, in fact, uh, we've run that particular tool at about 38,000 hours and I think it was 900 inches a minute on Oof. On a uh, mag machine, the mag threes. Yep. Oh yeah. A lot of those down in Tulsa, down in Wichita, they love that. They love that. But it has to run in the, I believe it's the 110 hertz, not the 80, because for some reason, the 80 hertz and the three flute variable helix don't get along. Really? Yep. So you have to put them in the in the new. I, I can't remember if it's a 100 or a 110 hertz, but right. They they specifically built one for three flute tools because the industry just demanded it. The harmonics on it get all wonky. Eh? Yep. Yep. And then moving on here, this is the knuckle dragger. Knuckle dragger ruffers. Um, that's basically just a gorilla mill with knuckle ruffer type truncated. Uh, OD on it, so it you know it just basically takes all the material and emulsifies the chip. Yeah, it would, wouldn't it? So you don't have to uh, you don't have to worry about the chip conveyor too much. No, and that thing, for those who don't know, that is basically just made for hogging out as much material right. as possible. Right. You're going to clean it up with a finish pass. It's right. about getting material off the part in as little time as possible. As fast as possible, and it it's not going to leave a good finish, but. It's not supposed to, it's right. rougher. That's We're when okay you, follow, that. you follow it up with a Yeti or something, right. right. And then beside that, I see some very, very long neck tools, and this is interesting. Right, when, um, in, especially in aerospace, they have a lot of pocketing that they have to do, right. and some deep holes. And it could be in aluminum, it could be in titanium. Um, and, and they need to reach down sometimes three, four, five inches. Right. And so they, they kind of want this long tool so they can reach down and not uh, not hit the wall of the park. That's what the redu reduced neck is all about. By the reduced neck, right. And these are our gorilla mills uh, that are basically on the end of a, a shank with the, and because we're taking out all that vibration, right. the biggest part of a problem with this type of tooling is when it's that long, it wants to vibrate. So. A lot of people don't know this, but we make a really good drill. I see that. And uh, it's a very high performance drill. We looked at many of the players in the industry and we said, you know, I bet we can make a pretty decent drill, and we Absolutely. do. I mean, that thing will work in everything from aluminum up to titanium and Inconel. And that's got through spindle cooling, it's got keep cooling it nice through. and cool. 142 degree point, and it's very high performance. And, it, and we never ever get any, any issues. When, once people, we're not known as drill people. Right. But once people try our drill, they're like, man, these guys make a really good drill. And what kind of sizes are those available in? Are they that's metric That's all gauge? the way up to three quarter, all the way down to, I believe, uh, standard on the shelf would be three millimeter. Really? And it's that's pretty Three small. times, five times, and seven times deep. Also With carbon. or without coolant. Yep. Wow. Yep. Uh, seven flute baboon. Built this one strictly, you know, it seems like everybody, there was a big race to get to however many flutes you could jam on two. I remember that time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and uh, I know there, you know, that people are up to nine, nine flutes, 10 flutes, 21 flutes, but our seven flute, again, with all the variations, very hard to get all that geometry yes. when these tools, and the longer that tool goes, the more they want to converge on each other and it, it becomes a mess. But we have figured out a way to, uh, to take that tool and, uh, and get all that geometry on it. And you know you can't remove a lot of material, but you can really haul butt uh, when you're when you're around. 
and uh, and act like wipers and put a decent finish on it. So pretty much you're getting two passes in one. We're trying to get people to uh, get away from having to rough and finish. This right. will still give you a 125 or better finish. Really? Yep. But it'll still rough as good as any rougher will. You know, with uh, chip breakers on two of the flutes. Those, those two uh, flutes are physically built as rougher flutes, completely right. different flute face and everything else on them. And then the other two are built like finishing flutes. You're not just slapping a sticker on it and calling it good. Right. Right. And uh, the two finishing flutes are just a few tenths bigger than, than the roughing flutes. To so make they, sure they get that sure last get, kick at the can. That's exactly right. That's so. fantastic. No, I, I've never seen anything like that. I, uh, I'm definitely going to pick up a couple like of these. Like I said, everybody gets a man crush on you. It's true. I feel like yeah. I uh, understand that sentiment well now. Yep. Now, what do you guys have coming up in the next year that you're excited about? Anything new coming up? New products? New lines? Uh, yeah. Um, there's a million different things that we're working on right now. One of them uh, being uh, high feed mills. High feed mills. Yep. We've got a line of high feed mills that we're developing right now. We should have those out probably sometime mid next year. Really? That's yep. quick. Yep. Yep. And then uh, there's always, uh, we've got people asking us about, um, in the aerospace industry, they use a lot of barrel cutters. Yep. And then uh, lollipop type cutters. So we've got those that we're looking at very carefully. And all of these will, of course, have our geometry on them. And because every time we make something and we put our geometries and our, and our vibration enhancing type geometries on it, it always seems to perform better. That's what really makes the difference. Right. That's the secret sauce. That's exactly right. And uh, we've kind of seen, we, we found a niche, as you can tell by our marketing. We're not afraid to make fun of ourselves. and. Uh, and uh, we go out of our way to make fun of our competition. But. It's fantastic. I love it. <laughs> it's good to see a little bit more fun in it. It is fun. We're, uh, we, the way we look at it, if you can't have fun, why do it? So I'm glad uh, to hear that because that's yeah. the same way I feel. Yep. Now, where can we find you online? GorillaMill.com. GorillaMill.com. Yep. Instagram, GorillaMill. Instagram. We've got it at uh, Facebook, at, at GorillaMill. Uh, it's on LinkedIn. It's, it's everywhere. Well, thank you and very we've much We've got for distributors your time. all over the world. So. Can't wait. Make yeah. sure you check them out. Gorilla Mel. Kevin, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Have Appreciate a great it. day, guys.